Hi everyone, we are going to do a little tutorial on some aerobics moves because I've had a few of you asking me to do some of these moves because you're finding them a little bit more complicated in a session that I teach my live sessions. So we're going to jump to the video right now. So what I want you to do is find a bit of space and then we're going to get to it. So what we're going to do is you are standing facing the screen. We're going to be on the right leg, so this leg. We're going to be marching right and left on a one, two, one, two. So we're going to march one, two, one, two. You're going to have your hands on your hips to start. So this is the march, okay? I will be doing this with music just now, but I'm just getting used to it. So the first move I'd normally do to find the beat of the music in my session is I've started with a march because everyone can walk, yeah? Well, okay, we started with that march. When we add some arms to swing the arms, or we have the hands on the hips. Okay, so that is a march. So you march one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we also have a step touch. So what we will do is we will take the right foot, step across over to the right hand side and then tap the left foot on the ball of the foot. So we go step touch. Now the left heel is raised. We will then step back that way because this heel is raised, we can move this foot. So we step back and tap this foot. So we step, touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. Okay, so now my right heel is raised. I could go back to a march, so marching it out. Good. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to put those two moves together with music. So get yourself ready. I'm going to switch the music on. So you can hear the beat. So standing up nice and tall, we're gonna be marching on the right leg. I'll count you in. In four, three, two, march here. One, two, one, two, good. So that's the march. You're marching on that strong downbeat. Boom, boom, can you hear that? Right, your next move is gonna be your step touch. So we start off nice and slow. Step, touch, step, touch so this is half speed okay so we're not actually on the beat yet okay half the time now we're gonna go on the full time are you ready here we go step one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven did you get that so i'm gonna go back to my march get ready in four three two one Good, so there we go, marching it out. So the knees are not lifting too high. I need to stay on that beat, so the down beat is when my foot hits that ground. Got it? Next move is your step touch. Are you ready? Now. You want to bend your knees a little when you're doing your step touch, so you're not locked out. So bend the knees a little bit, keep that chest lifted, really pull the belly button in, shoulders relaxed. Good, now we can add some arms. So the arms can go forwards or they can go out to the sides. Oh, so see, yes, nicely done. Give me four more, three, let's go back to your march, right leg now, march, and then give me a step touch. Now add the arms if you wish, so you can do push pull arms or you can do side lateral raise arms to the sides, good. And stop right there, now. Right, now you've learned the march and the step touch. We will then build on from that. So we will start with our step touch again. So remember the step touch is this. It says what it is on the tin. Step, touch, step, touch. I will progress this in my session to a double step touch. So we will go step together, step, touch, step together, step, touch. Now, in different parts of the world, this might be called a side step but I call this a double step touch. Okie doke. So we're going to go over to the right two times. One, two, three, four. Now notice I raise that left heel. Okay. So because that's happened, I can now return back the way I came. One, two, three, four. Let's do that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, you could add arms to this, so my side lateral raise arms 
would be something that are quite natural because they are going the same way as the legs. So we go one, two, three, four, go back that way, five, six, seven, eight. And notice the arms and legs were doing the same thing. Okie doke. So let's try that again in four, three, two. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. We're now going to try that with music. So get ready. So I like to march to get my beats. So we're all on the right leg. Are you ready with me? Let's start with the hands on the hips. Double step touch now. So you see, the more you do these moves, muscle memory comes into play. So they start to get easier. So don't be put off by exercise to music. It's one of my big loves, is exercise to music. It's so much fun. Once you master all those moves. Good, just keep going. Now we're gonna add the side lateral raise arms now. If this doesn't agree with you, just keep your hands on your hips. You're getting used to this. So your hips are facing front, your chest is up, the belly buttons are in to support the spine. Good, let's do two more of these. One more time. And march it out. Good, so I'm gonna turn the music off and we're gonna to progress to the next move. Well done so far. So also really interesting, let me know how you're feeling about this video. I'm hoping this is gonna help someone out there in the world because it's this is what helped me when I first started teaching was breaking down the moves to start. So let's progress from our double step touch. So you need a bit of space. So if you're in your lounge, make sure you've got a bit of space around you and there are no trip hazards. Very important health and safety. So back to your double step touch. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now notice there's a little tap there, okay, on the ball of the foot. Now the grapevine, you always hear people saying in, in aerobics, grapevine, grapevine. This is a very, <laughs> what would I say, popular move. Right, now, this comes from the base move, which is your double step touch, because it's in the step touch family. So we put moves in different categories. So I'm gonna call them families. So this is your step touch family, because it starts with a single step touch, step touch, which can then progress to a double step touch, which then becomes a grapevine. Now, I will show you the final product first. Don't be nervous. When you see it first, people think, what's he doing, what's he doing? You're gonna go cross behind, cross, curl. Cross behind, cross, curl. Okay, now notice I added a leg curl on the end. I am now gonna turn around. I want you to watch for a moment before you do this, observe me. I'm gonna do this the same way as you, so excuse my back. Right, so we're gonna take, let me see, can you see me guys, can you see me? You're gonna take your right foot, you're gonna turn out, you're gonna, you're gonna step out with the heel, you will then cross behind ball, step again, and curl. Now notice, this leg is ready to move back the way we came. Boom, 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 boom. Let's do that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, when I teach this in sessions a lot, I see people's hips doing very odd things. So our teaching points that we use is you need to keep your hips and chest facing front, but you are turning out from the legs because the heel strike happens here. So we are going. Heel, ball, heel or step, curl. Heel, ball, step, curl. I'm now gonna speed it up a little. If you wanna just watch it first, if you're a visual learner like me, watch it first, and then you can carry on with me after that, okay? So watch this again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
okay I'm going to speed it up a bit to show you because actually it's quite hard doing it slow but the quick the if I go with the music I find myself doing this a lot easier more comfortable should I say one two three four five six seven eight and that all originated from your what step touch family yeah so this this would be this would come from your step touch that we started with the first what well, the second move you did marches first but step touch was the second move so this is called your grapevine so I'm gonna go slowly over that again so have your feet together you are now gonna take the right heel out put the weight onto the right heel you then step behind you then step again and you do a kick your bum then the left foot the strike you're going back that way cross behind kick so let's do that together slowly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now another important thing is when you do the leg curl at the end, let me just show you from the back. Don't let the heels swing across the body. So think right heel goes to right glute, left heel goes to left glute. We want to keep good knee alignment as we do this. So I'm going to put some music on now and then we're going to try that again. Are you ready? Right, so what we're going to do is find the beat. As you know, I like the beat. I'm the beat boy. We're going to march. One, two, one, two, one, two. Let's take it into your step touch first. Ready? Remember step touch. This is how I break down my grapevine. For hundreds of years I've been teaching. Step touch. Yeah, got it? Are you following? Are you with me? Now two. Then I would say to the session, now guys, watch me. You will stay with this base move, but I'm going to bring in a change. So you're going to watch me, okay? Stay with the double, watch the change. Step behind, step, kick. Step behind, step, kick. And I will actually say what I'm doing because some people like to hear what is he actually doing. They can see me doing it, but what is he doing? So I go step behind, step, curl. Step behind, step, curl. And you see people in the session miming what you were saying. It's true. Instructors out there, you'll know what I'm talking about. Good, step, touch and hold. Now I'm gonna turn around and do it with you your way. Okay, so excuse my back. I'll count you in in four, in three, in two, in one. Let's do it slowly first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, speed it up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, step, touch now, good, right, so how did you find that move, the next move we're going to do is your v-step okie doke now do you remember the march that we were doing earlier this is going to come from a march okay so i'm going to just start with a little march here what are you going to do so v-step as it says on the tin we're going to step out into a v and come back now i'm mimicking what your feet are about to do so you're going to take the right foot so your feet are together we're in a neutral position so you can move from either foot but we always start on the right leading on the right okie doke so you're going to step out of the heel one two three four got it now you don't have to be standing and turn out like me you can keep your feet facing front we're going to go one two three four that's your v-step now i'm going to do four on the right then four on the left and you're going to do it with me so we're going to do it nice and slow so when you're ready we're on this side four times let's go one two bend the knees a little otherwise it looks weird <laughs> other side so we lead with a heel ball toe toe ball heel in 
yes? And the hips are facing you, keeping your heel feet out like so. Now let's cut it down to two. So we're going to do two. One. Then we switch to the other side. Now look what I did. A tap. Now I know in the big books and in the instructors do not tap to change feet. Yes, but I'm teaching this as a tutorial. So there is a tap in here. One. Two. Good. Right. Shall we try that together? Again, two on the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, two on the left. Excellent job. Now let's try that with music. So I like to be on the beat. One, two, one, two. Are you enjoying this slightly? Let me know in the comments below. We're gonna do that B step half time to start two on the right. Now speed it up, two on the right, two on the left, two on the right, two on the left, singles, add a tap in the middle, just for now, or you can clap, yay, now guess what, all the moves we've done, we're going to put together, are you ready? Step touch from the top. Double step touch. Again. You can add arms. I'm hoping you're finding this a little easier now that I've broken it down. Great finds. Now, two V step on the right. Two. And then two on the left. Got it? Right, march on your right foot now. Good, excellent job. Now, switching your music off again. I'm going to teach you one more move and I'll let you go. But thank you if you've watched all this time. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I'd love to hear your comments as well. So what we're going to do is the mumbo cha cha cha. So this is now delving a little deeper into your aerobics where we start to add a bit more of a dance theme to it. So this is called a mumbo cha cha cha. So we start with our feet in that neutral position in the middle. We will then take a mumbo step. Now I will face you to start forwards and backward rock. So we step replace, step replace. So what I mean by that, stay where you are. I will turn side on for a moment. So your right leg is coming forwards. Notice what happens with my left heel. It raises up. I then step replace back on my left and I go back on my right. Okie doke. So it's like a rocking movement. So we go forwards and backwards. One, two, three, four. So the left leg is using beat two and beat four. So listen again and watch. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Got it? I now face you. You are facing me. We do that together in four, three, two, one. Mambo. Yes? Did you get that? Good. Okay. Now try it on the left leg. So left leg mumbo in four, three, two, go. Yes? Good. So how would I change legs? Because now I'm doing this leg. Yeah, you could tap to change, but that would make everyone really get confused on which leg they're going to be. What we do is we add a rhythm step called a cha-cha-cha. So if you heard me clapping right now, it's a one, two, three. So it's step, replace, one, two, three. Step, replace, one, two, three. Mambo, cha-cha-cha, as it says on the tin. So we go. Mambo, one, two, three. Mambo, one, two, three. So it's a triple run. I find people who've done very athletic type 
exercise. When we do this, they add a jog in the middle. It's less intense. So you would stay lower to the ground, bend your knees a little more and relax. Try not to think about it too much. Just go with it and watch what the teacher's doing. So don't get too involved. And so what if you don't get 100% the first time? The more you do this, the more confident you will get with it. Promise, promise, promise you will. I started the same as you. I was thinking, oh my God, what's that teacher doing at the front? And eventually, muscle memory took over and I, I tried not to think about it too much, okay? Exercise can be fun. Right, so what we're gonna do is mumbo cha-cha-cha. Step, replace, one, two, three. Step, replace, one, two, three. Okay, doke. We will now take it on the diagonal, so I will change direction because that was facing front. The right leg is gonna move over to here. Step, replace, cha-cha-cha, step, replace, cha-cha-cha. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. We will now place, put some music on and you'll have a go with the music, yes! So you want to find your beat first. What are you going to do? You're going to march on that beat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're going to take them to the mumbo cha cha cha. Watch me. Mumbo cha cha cha. Mumbo cha cha cha. And as the body starts to feel a little bit more relaxed with it, you are not going as jogging like you're jogging. So notice how it's become smoother and I'm starting to travel a little bit more on that chasse or the cha-cha-cha, okay? Step replace, one, two, three, mumbo, cha-cha-cha. And this is where choreography comes in. You can do whatever you want with your arms. Who cares? You got that? Good, right guys, give me a little march here. So what we're gonna do now is put everything I've done together. Oh my goodness, I know. Just stick with it. You can always rewind back to the beginning of this video. In four, in three, in two, give me a step touch now. Now a double step touch. Grapevine. Into two V steps on the right, two and then two on the left. Now, mumbo cha cha cha, right foot. Two more. One more time. And march it out. So, that was my tutorial on your basic aerobics moves. I did delve into mumbo cha cha as well. If you would like to do more of these moves, let me know. But I really enjoyed teaching that. That was actually quite fun and I myself find it helpful teaching. So it's really important and fun that we get the good vibes out to all of you. If you liked my video today, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get the latest notifications of all my videos. I teach a lot of live classes as well on Instagram. So don't forget to follow me on Adrian Dixon Fitness on Instagram. And I look forward to seeing you in my live session. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 10 a.m. UK time. From Adrian signing out. Thanks for watching. Cheers.